Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your full moon in Pisces reading. Whoa, Scorpio. I'm hearing you're riding the wave. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm hearing you're ready. I'm hearing you're releasing. You're redefining, revisiting. I'm hearing reconnecting. You're re evaluating. I'm hearing your conscious awareness of your experience here on earth. Okay, wow. I'm hearing from number you that perhaps you are getting uh, and gaining a sense of awareness. I'm hearing of also your mission. I'm not sure what this is. I'm hearing your project. I'm hearing the project of your life. I'm hearing as well. What do you see yourself really carrying out? What do you see yourself really, really, really um, also relaying? I'm hearing as a message to your audience. You're getting ready for it, Scorpio. I'm hearing Leo so strongly here. Feel free to take a look at where Leo sits in your personal chart, and there might be an activation on that part of your chart. This came through, it was in the, uh, the Aries reading, I believe it was the Aries reading. Here comes the High Priestess, you might be dealing with a Pisces, could be your own energy, Scorpio. This is um, a new, uh, I'm hearing also, way of thinking. I'm hearing Consciousness, Father of Cups coming through with the High Priestess. This energy came through strongly in the Pisces reading, Daughter of Cups as well, Daughter of Pentacles, da Mother of uh, Pentacles, a lot of characters here. Free Scorpio, Mother of Wands as well, coming through. Father of Pentacles, wow. Okay, Son of Cups with the Daughter of Cups they're right next to one another. Okay, yeah, definitely. I'm hearing we're definitely, uh, we're, 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 we're dancing the dance, I'm hearing, and we're done with how we would be psychoanalyzing it. Okay, as well. Wonderful, wonderful to know, right? When we got a lot of Scorpio in your chart, there could be that tendency to really think a lot about what um, I'm hearing... Uh, I'm hearing thoughts can't even follow. I'm hearing the tracing of, I'm hearing the movement with, I'm hearing with the moon, like for number three, there could be even some kind of like, um, transcendental process that <clears throat> I'm hearing half here, half there. I'm hearing half in, half out. Like you felt that perhaps in some kind of way you were, you were, you were moving through. I'm hearing like, honestly, but then I'm hearing, uh, um, I'm hearing ergonomically. I don't know what the, like something that like in a way that makes sense and then, and then doesn't like, I don't know again what that's alluding to in particular, but just saying in the way that perhaps there was, um, almost also this space of feeling neat. I'm hearing that you needed to feel prepared. Okay. to move into a certain, um, I'm hearing also line of work and it's like, wait a second, how can I prepare myself to experience what I know is just a matter simply of love. What do we really need to understand of that space to feel that we can really, I'm hearing accommodate it, I'm hearing really accommodate, I'm hearing adventure. For a number of you, there might be this, um, you know, this, this step that you see yourself taking, it could be a move, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess, like a big, big, big move that you, um, I'm hearing you feel incredibly guided to take on Eight of Swords of Bright, but it's, no, one second, I'm hearing from a number, you're really scared, I don't know what this is alluding to, but you're perhaps even a little paranoid about what, um, I'm hearing, like, what's at the end of the staircase, <laughs> okay, like, kind of feeling, it's like, I feel like I'm getting ready to move in that direction, but, um, what's, uh, what's gonna be, uh, what's gonna be, the, um, I'm hearing the, I'm hearing the, the punchline there, I'm hearing specifically the devil, like, whenever you might feel guided, or you were feeling that you want to move in a new direction, at least, um, publicly, I'm hearing professionally, <clears throat> and it's like, what would happen? Uh, to also my, uh, I'm hearing my reputation, I'm hearing in that way, my career, the seven of cups upright and the devil, um, in the world here, right over the devil, yeah, I'm hearing, I don't want to make a mistake, I'm hearing it specifically in that way, now, again, it's interesting, because if we think about, right, passion, what is the point at which we can call it, I'm hearing something that is dishonest, I'm hearing in that way, the son of pentacles mirroring the devil, right? Sandwiching the world, like at what point do we kind of like cheat ourselves? I'm hearing on that, on that code. I'm not sure again what that's alluding to, but like, you know, if we follow passion. Can it really like, can it really like, uh, can it, can it really like, um, I'm hearing uh, kind of, uh, <coughs> here comes a fool, like, I'm hearing cheat us. Can it, can it really like, um, I'm hearing, uh, um, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing derail us. Okay. And I'm seeing for memory, there's almost like this pressure, this pressure to evolve, but then also this pressure of, um, I'm hearing, um, thinking through the process that you, I'm hearing inevitably understand. And I'm hearing in that way, like you don't really 
feel you can figure out, okay, but that you just naturally, you kind of like, you, you understand. I'm hearing, I know that I am to move in this direction, um, but I just feel it, I feel it because, um, because I want it. Okay, here comes the Ace of Cups, and this is speaking of emotion, right? And the Fool speaking of this sort of inclination to just kind of move in a new direction by way of also curiosity. I'm hearing it in that way. Um, for a number of you, I'm seeing that it's like I'm hearing I want to let it all go, and I want to and I want to drive. I'm hearing forward. Now, again, though, there is that sort of space, perhaps, of thinking that surrounds this um, point of passion for you, where you're like, I know that I want it. And then it's like, well, let me pull out this book and see what, what Chandler has to say about it. I don't know what that's alluding to here with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. I'm hearing the Chosen One. Okay, now this could be also related to religion where let's say that you really want to make a certain move, make a certain shift. You want to make a certain also um, really strong, I'm hearing a clear new beginning in a certain way. But then there comes this sort of like line of questions, okay, that <clears throat> you or another, I'm hearing you or another feels... I'm hearing children here with the justice card, that you or another um, feels um, needs to be addressed in some way. I'm hearing evaluated, reevaluated, And I'm hearing it's like a sticker that we can't, um, I'm hearing cut out. I'm hearing we can only peel. I'm hearing, and it's not a coupon. I'm hearing with a code. I don't know what that's alluding to, but something that perhaps you feel um, is like, I, I can't, there's no way that I can make this change and not address um, the characters uh, in it. I'm hearing who would be uh, related to it. I'm hearing and making it. And I, I know it's a bit abstract, Aquarius. I'm hearing strongly. Um, <coughs> but, excuse me, Scorpio, let me take a second. One second. I'm hearing, but it's not about that. Okay. <coughs> Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing the lovers. Um, yeah, I'm hearing whatever this change is, I'm hearing it's kind of, um, I'm hearing it's scary. I'm hearing it, it, it feels kind of, kind of scary. I'm hearing because it makes us have to believe in the principle of faith. I'm hearing and fate, the Hierophant and the, death, and the Death card, that are interchangeable. Where in, we don't question faith and we don't question fate within the context of one another. Where it's like, fate is faith and faith is fate. Okay, like I don't know again, what specifically that might be alluding to. It may be different for everyone, but the Death card here comes here with the Five of Wands. Like, you know, if we, if we enter into a room, let me say it like this, Scorpio. Let's say we enter into a room and we enter that room knowing, right, what we're kind of wanting to step back out of it with okay perhaps even the understanding of i don't know it could be a certain experience that you have it could be spiritually based it could be right take it as you will abstractly sort of um um understood but let's say that you have a sort of uh, a scaffolding of understanding of what will kind of come also of this situation of this experience and you when you enter into that room right you can be presented with so many alternatives to that initial point of understanding, right? Where it's like, you step into this room and you're like, okay, now there are so many roles that I could potentially play out. But that doesn't mean that I didn't have, and that I don't have, I'm hearing full and honest awareness of the one that I wish to play out, okay? Now, <laughs> And I'm hearing life after death, so take it as you will. But what I'm getting, Scorpio, is that I'm almost seeing someone who also, like, they have this, like, they're, like, about to go into, like, some, uh, like, a shop or something. And they're like, I'm going to go there. I know what I want to buy. There's no question. I'm hearing, I want that one. I'm hearing knee brace. I don't know what this is. Do. And it's like, you know, you're, you're getting ready to, uh, I'm hearing also show up at the print shop. And it could be related to a contract, even something that you want to kind of seal the deal with. And I'm seeing, like, you enter into this, like, shop. I'm hearing the ozone, A zone, free zone. I don't know what that's auto zone I'm hearing as well. And I'm seeing like, you step, whatever it is, you step into the shop and you're like, okay, there's no, I'm not going for any other color. I'm hearing other than gray. I don't know what that's alluding to, but this came through in the Leo, a Leo reading. Yeah, Leo, Leo. And, <clears throat> and it's like, and when you enter, right, you have this absolute fundamental understanding of why you're there as well. Okay, it's like, I came here 
to get this one I'm hearing also um, I'm hearing color and I'm hearing and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna move out I don't know again what that's alluding to but color does actually associate with also vibration parts of the body right specifically the color for example orange relates to the sacral chakra it can always take it as you well don't know right sort of the rules are absolutes eight of wands right over the death card okay we know we know we know that that we are making a major also confession here I'm not sure what that's alluding to but whatever it is you perhaps as a while to focus on um, a, uh, a certain announcement, okay, that you see yourself making 10 10 right there on the clock. And the death card is right over the Six of Wands. And on this card, you got the Hierophant coming through, Father of Pentacles. Oh boy. Okay, this is a big, big, big step. Six of Wands in reverse at the base of the Eight of Wands. Now it's all subjective, right? It's so subjective because we can have this sort of very simple understanding of what we want when we move into a certain space and then we are invited by. I mean, we are, inv we are suddenly invited by so many different. I'm hearing reactions to, I'm hearing our audience. Interesting, interesting, okay. It is really twisted, Scorpio, right? <laughs> it's always take it as you will, but um, yeah, okay. There's a lot of ways that this can be interpreted out as, but I'm seeing like, again, someone moves into a certain space and it's like, suddenly, I'm hearing, I am I am the movie director with so many different, I'm hearing talents, I'm hearing scores, like suddenly I have all of this feedback as well. And it starts to make, it starts to make me think about Okay, my story. Now that's irrelevant, right? Because the story is written in a certain way. The story is kind of clear, it's obvious. I'm hearing sometimes it's written because it is not, I'm hearing as well. Sometimes it's the honesty of the readiness, I'm hearing as well, to simply flow with the decision to simply begin. Now at that point, right, I'm hearing, it's interesting because I'm seeing that in moving into this space where we realize that we're just performing, there then comes this point of questioning and thinking about what we have already decided on. I'm hearing it in, in that way with the Son of Cups, like what we have already understood to be not a matter of understanding, but a matter of feeling. I'm hearing that we don't need to understand it. Okay, so in other words, I'm seeing that you were really clear on something here, Scorpio, in some shape or form. Something was really obvious to you, and you felt like you didn't need to really um, uh, have to evaluate it, like to such a such a such a degree. Okay, um, that perhaps so you now are that you have been, or that that you feel that you need to be, or that is reflectively sort of being presented to you out as like if somebody comes up to you and is like, here now 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 present it, and I'm seeing that it's almost like a stage that someone kind of like presented to you or like offered you and uh, and I'm seeing you kind of being like well I naturally would not have gone in that direction I naturally would not have felt the need to kind of um, address it even like that okay like and I'm hearing it specifically like that so I'm seeing that there is almost like this focus on um, what you know is a natural process for you and what is not this can go back you know years i'm hearing into your childhood even where it's like i would have never like really wanted to even wear that color i don't know what that's alluding to so much focus on color here <laughs> i would have never really like naturally also worn that that i'm hearing uh, that makeup i don't know what that's alluding to but anyhow okay for a number of you there is um a holding pattern i'm hearing specifically in the mind that you feel i'm hearing i need to break out of and it is the source of a lot of anxiety i'm not sure what that's alluding here with the nine of swords in reverse and mother swords in reverse um but you realize that in doing that in addressing and in addressing and acknowledging what your perceptive potential is i'm hearing you realize that pain only leads to i'm hearing a greater performance of your values in other words let's say that you're a performer in some kind of way and we all are right but let's say that there is some kind of public space even that you carry your workout through when there is that space of challenge to what you see that space as naturally and authentically it really begins to stimulate i'm hearing your source of survival i'm hearing your instincts what you feel i'm hearing is an absolute also source of empowerment for you in other words when you feel that you're challenged scorpio to be your very best i'm hearing you become one with your authentic 
diversity of character. What do you really rely on? I'm hearing what is your backbone? What is your source of also inspiration, Scorpio? What makes you feel alive? And in those moments where you don't understand why you are here, I'm hearing in that way, in those moments where you don't really understand even what you love and why you love it. I don't know why I want to paint. I don't understand why I feel so compelled to pick up the brush and just make my a mosaic. I'm hearing one with color like that. I'm not sure what this will do in particular for a number of you, but what, whatever it is that perhaps you feel, there is even no way to understand it. Okay. What is it that makes you, makes you take, I'm hearing the dive to dance with it. Okay. Now when we are ready to do that, right? It does not mean that the world will be ready to. I'm hearing to, to learn it. I'm hearing to learn of it, I'm hearing as well. Now, to say it in the way that perhaps, you know, you feel that your work is somewhat controversial. You feel that, you know, you're, you're, you're the way that you make a change, but this could also be you with you, Scorpio, right? It's like what you feel that you also um, kind of release the potential for kind of conflicts with a certain uh, reaction space. I'm hearing even ideology that, um, you have kind of associated with in the past. I'm not sure what that's about, the Ace of Pentacles and the Father of Pentacles, but um, it may have to do with how something is um, kind of like also presented. I'm hearing so how something is also uh, acknowledged um, in a public way of the Fool and the Mother of Swords. The Fool's looking at the Ace of Cups leading out with the Father of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles as well, here right next to the Father of Pentacles, okay. But I'm hearing enough of that, Scorpio. I'm hearing, mm, and then enough, enough, enough. I'm hearing enough of thinking about how um, it can be thought of, right? And it's like, if someone is going to be a hero, right? It's like, they don't put on the cape because everyone else thought that it was creative, okay? Like, a creative idea. Like, I'm seeing, like, a, super, a superhero, okay? Like, in an action movie. And it's like, they realize that there is, you know, someone that needs to be saved, okay? Let's just say it like that. Right? Like, and what does that really mean? What is it? Can someone really save another? Right? Always take it as you will. But anyhow, um, and I'm seeing like this person, like kind of, um, or this character, whatever, whatever it may, may be considered as, sees like that there is a space also of need, okay, of their gifts, of their abilities, of their talents, right? To be sort of, uh, sort of um, addressed, okay? Like, you know, and let's say you, you, you have this awareness of also a certain situation that, that you feel you could also really, um, uh, that, that you need to address, I'm hearing specifically. Now, here comes the strength card, even represent, okay, publicly, whatever it is. Um, and I'm seeing, like, this character who has, like, a, again, a very uh, a strong ability also to, um, to also appreciate certain aspects of that situation uniquely. I'm not sure, again, what that's alluding to. But then all of a sudden, I'm hearing Scorpio. Like, they have this cape, right? And they're like, okay, then they're looking around, and they're looking around, and they're like, they're, 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 they're interpreting, I'm hearing their guys. Okay, interesting. They start to question, I'm hearing how great, I'm hearing their, uh, I'm hearing their, uh, their gesture um, could be actually seen out as like, what? Like in what, in what movie would we ever see, right? An action superhero like pausing, okay? Like, wait a second, like, so am I gonna be a super superhero or am I gonna be just like, a, just a superhero? <laughs> or am I gonna just be like a capital S? Um, hero. Like, I don't know what that is alluding to, but I'm seeing like there's perhaps this process of like breaking down the mentality around the motion. I'm hearing that's made by way of the emotion that's felt for the move that you want to make. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but it's like something that is somewhat kind of like of a natural process um, has uh, been a matter of also like leadership and directorship that. Um, you feel others may be in some shape or form involved in, and that could have been in the past. Um, I'm hearing reactions, like where you feel like, yeah, when I do this, I'm hearing people are definitely gonna, they're gonna have something to say, and I'm seeing like someone even like in a race car, and they're like, yeah, everyone's gonna have something to, something to, to I'm hearing roam, roam out about, I'm hearing moan, moan out about as well. I'm seeing like, I'm hearing Raymond, okay. Now, <sighs> Scorpio. The feeling is, you have this, the death card looking at the Eight of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups upright, the Mother of Pentacles upright, I'm hearing. Um, we realize that it's not about keeping all of the glasses. I'm hearing intact, I'm hearing in the room, I'm hearing the chandelier, I'm hearing if it needs to shake, I'm hearing let it do so. Because we need to be willing 
to share this news. I'm hearing with others and it will be, I'm hearing a shock to many. I'm hearing it will be. I'm hearing also um, a point of, uh, of, 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 I'm hearing uh, endurance. I'm hearing to the pain. Uh, that we need to kind of uh, feel feel like we're ready to, to to shoulder. I'm hearing to take on to to um. I'm hearing to also take out. I'm hearing of the conversation room at least, where it's like let's like not keep the. I'm hearing the. Uh, I'm hearing the, the the process one that feels like it's revolving around itself. Like I'm seeing someone wants to perhaps even regenerate a certain space. Um, of, uh, of, of uh, I'm hearing uh, the, the experience and to say it in the way that for a number of you, the stars while mirroring the eight of cups, like, and what does it mean to take on, right, the pain? I always take it, so I'm not necessarily saying that it's something that you feel you would like to kind of like, um, uh, kind of like, um, I'm hearing interpret or, or to, um, to, to, in, I'm hearing, in, 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 I'm hearing, um, oh, what is the word? Um, it's kind of like, I'm hearing like, like, um, hmm. I'm hearing like intake. I'm hearing intake here with the Eight of Cups. Like, I'm seeing that it's not something that you want to um, necessarily. Um, I'm hearing like ingest, I don't know, I'm seeing someone like taking emotion and kind of like, um, like almost like inverting it. I don't know what that's going to, but okay, anyways, um, I'm seeing Scorpio that, I'm hearing it's a balloon that doesn't want to pop. I don't know what that's alluding to here with the Mother of Pentacles, Eight of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Cups again coming through. So there's a focus for a number of you perhaps on some some cycle that you feel, it's like, I, not that I wanna take it in, I'm hearing it that way again. Um, it's a matter of what I feel I need to take. I'm hearing outside of the space of conversation, at least. I'm hearing it in that way where it's like, I don't wanna just talk about the turmoil I'm hearing as well that I'm feeling. I don't know what that's alluding to here with the Eight of Cups and the Father of Cups, like a space of dissatisfaction here. You got the High Priestess as well. You got the Star and the World. And I'm hearing this is a, this is pressure. You feel pressure to make a move, and um, I'm seeing that the, the reaction space has become so clear to you in terms of what feels good and what doesn't. And I'm seeing that you perhaps you're wanting to make a major break. I'm hearing again a major break. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This came through in the Aries reading as well. You got the Daughter of Swords. Perhaps it is related to matters of contractual work. You got the Temperance card as well. It might be related to your your um, the way I'm hearing you, uh, a move. It may actually be a move. One second. But it may be a contract that is related to a move as well. It could be matters abroad. The Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's move into the extended reading. Lots of energy coming through here for you. Um, you can access that via the link in the bio box below. Feel free to click there. And we'll see what comes through. Have a beautiful full moon in Pisces, Leo. I'm hearing so strong for you as we bleed it out. Have a lovely, lovely September. And I'll see you soon.